Hey guys, this is Carla, and this is yet another review for a movie trailer. Um, this time I have uh, the trailer for Star Trek Beyond, which is the third um, movie in this new rebooted Star Trek franchise starring um, Zachary Quinto and what's his face? Chris Pine, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chris Pine. Um, and it's the third movie, and the first trailer was just released a couple of days ago. It will play along with Star Wars in theaters, like every other trailer ever made, apparently. Um, but yeah, basically, they released the trailer a couple of days ago, and I, I think I watched it on the day it came out. And okay, let me put it this way. I'm, I did not hate the trailer. I didn't dislike the trailer. I just didn't really think it told me anything. You know, it's like I don't, I don't even really know what the movie's about at this point, so I'm not necessarily excited about it. I don't dislike it either. I probably will go see the movie, but not necessarily based off of this trailer, but more the previous two movies, which I liked. Um, the first one was excellent. The second one, not so much, but I, I still liked it overall. Um, the thing is, okay, this trailer. I don't, I don't like the way it starts and I don't like the way it ends. Um, at the beginning, the whole thing with the music, don't get me wrong, I love the Beastie Boys and I love Sabotage and I love the fact that it's a throwback to the first movie because that scene in the first movie was awesome. Um, and the song actually fit in that scene, but in this one thing where it's just like, Kirk is sitting there listening to music, and then Scotty comes in, and he's like, what are you listening to, or something else, and it's, it's a pointless scene, okay, it's just, maybe it will make sense in context, but right now, to start a trailer, it doesn't really, like, what's the point, you know, I don't, that's not what I want to see in the trailer, and then the end scene, when they, um, Kirk and this alien girl, uh, are, um, ported back to the ship and they fall hard on the ground and Kirk's like, let's never do that again. And I'm like, okay, I've seen that before. I, I'm not entirely sure if they did it like word by word, but I've seen that before. So I, I, did, I don't think it was funny and I don't think it was the right way to end the trailer. In between those two scenes, there's a lot of action, which I, it's, I've heard that the Trekkies are actually, um, or the Star Trek fans are actually uh, upset about the fact that there's so much um, action in the trailer because, you know, the original Star Trek was really more about exploration and problem solving and science and it wasn't really about action. Um, but I don't mind too much. I mean, I think that's the feeling I got from the first two movies, too, that, that there's just more action this time around because the characters are different because of all the things that they went through. So it made sense to me that they'd be a bit more, you know, aggressive in a way, like it's more action. And it also makes sense um, in the sense that time has passed and audiences have changed. And now people, if you're going in to see a big blockbuster, people sort of expect some action in it. Usually a lot of action in it because that's what people go to the movies in the summer for, to, to see a lot of action usually either action or laughs, um, and usually big blockbusters have both. So um, I don't mind the fact that it's more ac it's more action, it's, it's a lot of action. What I don't like about it is it's the fact that it doesn't really tell me anything. It's just people punching each other, but I don't know what the plot is about. I like, I really like the idea that this is the first out of the rebooted movies that actually happens, it seems to happen on a planet. Which is, it, it harkens me back to a little bit about more of the heart of what Star Trek is. With, like I said, with the exploration and the science and stuff. They're going to this planet and they're going to have to figure out what to do to get out of there. And to survive and to adapt to the environment while they're there. So, I like that idea. But that's all I know from the movie. Okay, I don't know who the aliens are. I don't know who the girl is, why she's so important, I don't know who the other guy is, 
I had to ask some of my friends to actually tell me that that was Idris Elba. I mean, apparently it's not confirmed, but most people assume that that's Idris Elba because I remember when I saw the trailer the first time, I just I was just like, wait, wasn't Idris Elba supposed to be the big bad in this movie or something? So I had to ask, and they were like, no, it was the alien dude. And I'm like, oh, that's a waste, you know? Um, actually, that was, I mean, that was a friend of mine who said that's a waste, and I'm like, yeah, I completely agree. Um, but uh, I just... <laughs> I just don't know what's happening. You know, who are those aliens? Why are they so dangerous? What is the conflict? I don't know. I just know that they're stranded on a planet and lots of ass kicking happens from one side and the other somehow. And that's kind of what I don't like about this trailer that it doesn't really tell me anything. It's just a lot of explosions and Kirk riding a motorcycle and the song doesn't really fit either. <laughs> like I said, I love that song. I love that band and I love the way they used it in the first Star Trek movie. It just doesn't work here. You just wanted to have a scene with Kirk riding a motorcycle to that song. That's all they wanted. But I don't think it fits. So, um, again, I, I don't dislike this trailer. I mean, I thought for, for a blockbuster trailer that is supposed to have a lot of action, it was fine. I liked the costuming and the makeup. It seemed cool. I liked that Chris Pine is looking more and more like Shatner. <laughs> with every movie that goes by. Um, the other characters didn't even do anything. Not really. I mean, Bones had that one scene when, with Spock when he's like, well, at least I won't die alone. I found that funny. Okay, I laughed because I like, um, I like Bones. And he's funny. So, I like that. And it felt a lot like the humor of the original Star Trek, at least the little bits of it I've seen. I, I'm not a Trekkie, so... But, um, but I've seen some episodes, and it, it did remind me of that. Um, but I still don't know if that's enough to get me interested any more than I already was. Like I said, I'm interested in this because of the name, but I'm hoping there's more to this movie than this trailer shows. And also, I have one big point of contention. Where the heck is Anton Yelchin in this trailer? Okay, because Chekhov is my baby. He's my baby and I love him to death and I need him to be there in every movie. And in this one, he seems to like not even be there. Be there. Like if I was missing Idris Elba, I missed Chekhov even more. And um, it wasn't until I saw it like a second time that I realized he's like, in one, in the background in one of the Spock shots, but heck no, I want to see him. I mean, bad enough that all the other characters don't even speak. Like Sulu doesn't say anything, or Uhura doesn't say anything. Spock, I don't, I barely think he says anything. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to at least see, um, to at least see Anthony Elton in front at least once and it didn't happen so I'm kind of disappointed by that overall it was it, it wasn't a bad trailer but it wasn't a good trailer either so I'm kind of blah about it I don't really care it does nothing for me that I, I that the name of the movie alone doesn't do so yeah kind of not a good thing to show that before Star Wars if you ask me because Star Wars is going to be so mind-blowing amazing and this trailer is just a kind of like meh so I guess we'll see how it goes, but hopefully in the next trailer they're going to give us a bit more of what this movie's actually about, and maybe I'll be happy about it, and I don't know. Um, but that's about it from me for now, um, as far as uh, this trailer is concerned. As usual, be sure to visit our website, thegeekypub.com, if you want to see more reviews from our trailers, because right now we have a lot of reviews for trailers, like at least these few days, because so many of them are coming out. Um, but we also have reviews for TV shows, for movies, for books, for games. We have a ton of stuff in there, so be sure to check it out. And if you guys want to be notified straight away when we upload a new review, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, because that's where the reviews go up first. Even before they hit the website, they're on YouTube, so if you subscribe, you will be um, notified straight away when we upload something new. And that's about it. Uh, for now, I will see you guys in my next review, so bye!